today I want to offer to you a congratulations on your courage. It takes courage to look at yourself. It takes even more courage to love yourself. The condition layers that are put on top of who we really are again and again and again, sometimes through the best intention, sometimes through uh, slightly more nefarious methods. Um, but what we do to ourselves is pretty merciless. So offering yourself the hand of mercy, going against what you've been told as this is how everyone does these things. This is how you process things in this lifetime. It does not have to be that way. If you are listening to a voice that's inside you, and I've said this before, and you feel in bodily alignment, even if it's not a popular idea, it's probably your higher self leading you somewhere. And it takes a lot of courage to trust that self because Raw truth is not where we live in the everyday. We live in a world of platitudes. We live in a world of politeness. We live in a world of false civility. Now, I'm not saying we should all go around being primal cavemen. However, living a little closer to the truth would give us all a firmer place to stand when we deal with each other in any kind of relationship. So what I really wanted to offer you today was accolades if you're taking that less traveled road. It's not an easy one to take. Even when you know it's right, there's not that many people on it. And when you know that your road is right for you, it can feel lonely. But I want to offer you that we're waiting for you and we'll see each other on that path. We'll cross paths. Anyone that, that is doing that searching will find each other. It's a natural sense of community and it's being brought about faster and faster and faster in this world. I'll see you there and I'll see you tomorrow.